So welcome back everybody. Today we're jumping into a pack called Vault Hunters. By popular demand, you guys have commented left and right, chosen, play Vault Hunters. And of course, we're jumping into this mod pack today. What is this mod pack all about? Well, Iscal, if you don't know, is a YouTuber who has been playing this pack and testing it out and working on it and putting it together for quite a while, over a year. It's been insane. I've been keeping up with, uh, with the streams and stuff sort of watching all of this as this pack is sort of developed. And this pack has got to be on the top, definitely the top five most interesting mod packs, I would have to say, to exist based on gameplay mechanics alone. And not to mention that a, a mod dev that I support 100% um, has definitely been working on this mod pack as well. Hellfire PvP has, uh, I mean, you may know them from uh, from mods such as Astral Sorcery and, and such. Um, has also been working on this pack, putting together some of the mods that you see in this pack. So it's absolutely insane that uh, this pack has come together and uh, it's, it's pretty nice, it's pretty nice. Um, now, let's talk mechanics and how this pack works right off the start, because I can tell you that it is not what you're probably expecting. It is uh, far from normal modded Minecraft mod packs. Right off the bat, you might notice unspent skill points pointing out right in your face, it's right there. Well, those are used for skills. Let's talk about that. We can hit H and open up this. We have statistics, we have abilities, talents, and research. This is a lot to take in right off the bat, um, but let's let's say this right here. We have mods in this pack. There are a lot of mods, but the base of this pack is definitely vanilla. As you get started and progress, you basically have to kill the dragon and such to sort of get started in this pack. But it's kind of crazy. You have to beat vanilla Minecraft to get started with modded. I know, I know, you know what? That's just how it is. And um, right off the bat, we're not gonna be even worried about mods because we can't get into them just yet as they require something called research. Um, and we do not have any of those points, but we do have the ability to unlock abilities and talents right off the bat. Um, so you can actually take a look at some of these. They, there's a website that you can use. And uh, in the website, it's pretty nice. You can actually like literally see what everything does or you can load up the pack and click it yourself. Um, I'm gonna have that website linked down in the description below if you wanna take a look at it and you can see all the cool stuff that's in this like RPG style uh, mod pack. First thing I want though, vein miner, I'm gonna unlock two stages of it. You can see two unlocks eight blocks wide worth of vein mining. Oh, that's gonna be so nice right off the start. Um, some other things I'm gonna do as I've taken a look at several of these, Experience is gonna give me a nice little boost in experience right off the bat. I at least want one of these to give me a 50%. Twerking, you may be used to. <laughs> twerking, not learned yet, uh, but I do wanna be able to learn it. We're gonna put one point into twerking so that way I can fast grow regular crops um, just by holding crouch. And then I have one more uns un un unspent skill point and I'm gonna put that into uh, dash or mega jump. I think dash, definitely want dash. And uh, this is going to allow us to dash forward quickly, giving us a nice movement modifier. So with all of our skill points spent, you can see I can go up here to dash and this is what dash does. How cool is that? We're already taking damage. Um, and then vein mine, is, I believe so long as I have an item in my hand, it may actually work without. No, I got to have an item in my hand. You can see it vein mine kind of works like that in an area. Allowing me to vein mine trees. Or all these all these uh, beautiful pumpkins here. I can just harvest a whole bunch of them. Look at that. Look, we have dark oak under here. I'm going to grab some of that. First thing first, though, I need to find a village. Because, well, we need villagers to make this thing all work. Uh, villagers are going to be the lifeblood of this mod pack early on. And wouldn't you know it, we have a village right up here. Right into this forest, which is kind of dangerous early on, us going into a dark forest. Because... Well, we're kind of like a, a toothpick. We're easily snappable. Like uh, there's, uh, we could be punched once by a zombie and, and probably die, um, even with armor on. <laughs> um, vanilla armor is not the same. Uh, we are very, very weak early on, way, way early. I mean, we can have full diamond armor on and still feel kind of weak. And there's not a whole lot we can do about it right away. So the best way to get started is of course to find villagers and uh, yeah, even this mod we can't use. This is the Waystone mod. We click it, we haven't unlocked it. You have to, we have to unlock this mod. But anyways, villagers, we want to get them. And these are my favorite looking villagers. I'm glad I found this. Look at that. We can at least pick villagers up, 
thank goodness, and move them around. This is going to make life so much easier. And the first thing we need is a villager farm ASAP. Looky there, we ended up with an iron chest piece right off the bat. It's not really going to help us too much, but, you know, we might be able to survive a punch or two. So I have found the tree of age. I, I shall not destroy this tree, but I'm thinking this is going to be the place to call base. This is going to be the place to call home. Look at our sacred tree right here in the middle. Oh, man. This, yeah, this has to be where we, we start our builds. This, mm, this is going to have to happen here. Before I can start building this beautiful, beautiful castle palace thing that I have planned already, just by, just by this lake being here, I love this. Um, well, we have to kind of do a whole bunch, including a lot of mining. And, well, that means nothing else but montage time. Uh, nope. My first diamond. Oh man, so after about, I don't know, 10 picks or so, I ended up finding a little bit of diamond. Not a whole lot, not enough to make a pick or anything, unfortunately. Oh man, but still, first diamond, not not super, super bad. But I'll tell you what, breaking through all this deep slate, oh, is so painful. All of this deep slate, it's just over and over, deep slate. That's, that's what I've been dealing with here. Man, I wonder if it's a good idea. I don't know, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to run for it. Oh, hopefully the skeletons don't get me. I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, I'm just placing down as many torches as possible. Look at all this surface stuff. Oh, this is a lot of material I can come back for. I just got to get these mobs to go away. Oh, yeah, I think I got most of the area lit up. But man, we got skeletons and creepers. There's all kinds of craziness happening over here. But I think I can make my way out for sure. I think I got just about everything lit up. So this is all mine now for the taking. Now that I got it all nice and lit up, all of this ore is mine. After mining and collecting several resources, well, I think it's uh, about time to get my build on. And well, that means only one thing, time lapse. So I hope you guys are ready. After all of that, spending, you know, about three or four hours building all of this, getting all this stuff cleared out, it looks pretty good. I got my storage over here. I got a nice little spot, of course, around our old oak tree. I'm loving this. And, uh, well, it's villager time. So, uh, all I have to do to get the villagers up and running and get ourselves some emeralds is get ourselves a composter. I mean, we're really just rushing through this as quick as possible. Of course, I do want to save a few of these. We need at least two of these villagers to be saved for later. Of course, that's a farmer. Um, let's go ahead and toss this guy in. Another farmer. 
This guy in, another farmer. These are very, very simple villager trading halls, by the way. And we have this mod over here that lets us cycle trades. Look how cool this is. So we can cycle things like carrots or potatoes. Um, I think carrots are gonna be a pretty good one, um, but there's other stuff in here too. So like 22 carrots, we can go ahead and lock that in. That's gonna give us bread. Um, we can cycle that. That'll be carrots and potatoes. We definitely want one that probably has wheat as well. I don't know, I'm just go with carrots. Um, that way I can mass farm carrots real quick. Um, so we have our little farm here and uh, we can rock and roll with this farm and this hoe. Um, all I need is some carrots, which I should have laying around in here that we've gotten from the past. So let's go ahead and harvest all these. This was what I was using for food. I'm still using it for food, but yeah, I can mass grow these and collect all of this. And this is how we're going to be emerald farming for a little while. Yup, mass emerald farming right here. Just waiting for this to grow, particles all over our face. And yeah, I'm gonna be uh, trading this guy. Let's see if I can roll one that has carrots and wheat. Yeah, there we go. There we go, perfect, what a deal. So we got our first emeralds, just like that. And so this is gonna be something that I'm gonna be doing for quite a while. So with all the emeralds I'm accumulating, well, we have a couple of things that we can do. As of right now, I wanna get myself a full set of diamond gear, which is gonna come from these two villagers and also some tools and potential diamond weapons. All of that is thankfully going to come from this. So I'll throw this guy down and there we go. So we have these trades. I don't think it really matters too much at what you roll. You're not gonna be able to see what you're gonna get later on down the road, but it would be nice to have something that we can sec uh, that we can uh, kind of trade our emeralds for. And that's what I'm going for. And yeah, there we go. So four emeralds for iron boots. I mean, I wanna roll for something a little bit cheaper than that if we can. Um, but if anything, it's not gonna be super, super bad. I just need to get these guys leveled up. Now I will take that, 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 and that. And then also about uh, a couple of these. Oh, I love this. And uh, this will get us efficiency three, which is not bad for a diamond pickaxe. And uh, of course, later on we can upgrade more because I'm going to need to get myself some uh, some book villagers. But to get started, this is actually pretty decent. And uh, well, now I'm covered in diamonds and look at that. Very fancy. Now, the only thing I have left to do is, well, let's go ahead and combine this to get us unbreaking three in efficiency. That's pretty nice for that, but this is even better. So over here, next time we find diamonds or any kind of ore, look at this, it has fortune, right? So I can take these two and combine them and get fortune two with efficiency four. I can combine these as well. And then for the ultimate cost, once I have 19 more levels, efficiency five and fortune three on an iron pickaxe. I know it sounds crazy to put it on an iron pickaxe, but it's better than anything else we have. So it's, yeah, definitely worth getting our hands on. I may not have mentioned this fully right from the start, but the one thing that we're actually shooting for, and the reason why we wanna go ahead and get all of the vanilla basic stuff out of the way is because we are hunting for the vault altar. This requires per per blocks, which of course we can get uh, in the end, which is why we need to at least go to the end and go to the end city area. Um, we need obsidian and a diamond block, pretty simple. This is our entryway into our first vault um, in which we will it will require specific items um, and those items, well, we're gonna have to collect those and that's the fun part is collecting all the items, putting it in and thus getting our first crystal to be able to go into the, the vault or the vault rock. Um, which is going to allow us, yeah, as you can see, to turn into a vault crystal. So there's a lot of fun up ahead, but of course, like I said, we've got to get this stuff out of the way and uh, there's no way for me to just up and skip it all. That would be, that'd be insane. Look at all the stuff that I've done so far. So while I'm down in the mines, look what I've managed to find. Look at this, fantastic. Wonder what's in here. Okay, ooh, a golden apple. Okay, that's great. A saddle. Oh, that's gonna make my travel so much easier. Oh, the fact that I just got a saddle. I can now get a horse and some bone. Yes, okay. Everything else I'm gonna leave, but for now, looking pretty nice. I'm glad I found this. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, definitely need to mark where this is at. 
At this point, well, it's time to start rolling our librarians, and, uh, well, I'm at Fortune 3 already on this bad boy, and I think it's a pretty decent number there. Now, the fast way to roll this is to set it to a hotkey. Um, you can just, like, search Villager, and uh, then you can find the hotkey under Category. Yeah, that's definitely the way to roll these things, and I've got to set up a few more. Um, and, yeah, books. Books are going to be a thing. And if I remember correctly, I think you can buy books from Librarian. I'm waiting for this guy to turn. I don't know if he ever will, uh, but I did set up a villager breeder over here. A very, very simple villager breeder. So that way, uh, every now and then, I should get an extra villager, so long as this crop is nice and grown up, which I am slowly but surely working on getting it to happen. I just don't think they have enough carrots yet. Uh, but everything else should be working good. I do have enough books to go ahead and make another one. So hopefully we can get ourselves a nice amount of enchanted books. So even though I have a villager farm, I'm still kind of in that speed run aspect or speed run mode. And uh, well, there's a village right up here that I notice. So I'm going to go up there and I'm going to grab some of those villagers as well. And look, hey, we got honey nearby. I also decided to go ahead and hit up this village that was uh, actually near spawn that I, I sort of missed. Yeah, I'm going to grab all of these guys and hope I mean, this is actually kind of a weird village. We have a bunch of immersive engineering buildings. There's like four of them here. These all have immersive engineering gear inside. Huh. Including all this treated wood. This might be somewhere to come back to later. Including all this green wool. Oh, but this place has the perfect place. This is amazing. Right here. This has a brewing stand. Which means we can now make a cleric which means ender pearls for days. We'll never need to worry about ender pearls. This will mean we'll get a villager leveled up perfectly with ender pearls ready to go. And I tell you what, early on, these crates are amazing. So I'm glad we have so many of them. I'm not really needing the items inside, but they're basically shulker boxes. So you can just pick up all of your items. It's, it's quite nice. Just to show off all of the success in grinding that I've been doing so far with these villagers. I mean, hours. I started... Yeah, this is a two-day process now, but Ender Pearls are now just free. They're basically at the cost of, of a few carrots. I'm still leveling this guy up, so that way I can, uh, yeah, I can slowly but surely buy myself some diamond swords. Um, but everything else is pretty much ready to go. The only thing I'm missing is a diamond axe. I probably want to get another toolsmith later on for that, but check this out. I don't think I've ever gotten... I, never in my life playing Minecraft now have I ever seen enchants this low. I was rolling them and I got Unbreaking 3 for 15. I didn't even know that was possible. Um, so Unbreaking 3, Sharpness 5 for 18. Like, look at these god rolls. These are just insane. Mending over here. We got Infinity for 17. Um, Fortune, you know, a little high. Um, but Mending and Silk Touch, 15. I think Mending was, was 10. It's in emeralds. I think it's the lowest I've ever seen it. I did get a set of fire protection so I can go to the nether. Um, and efficiency five. I think we're looking pretty good. Fortune and power for a bow and also feather falling five, which is going to be a must. All of these things. Amazing. Also, I put fortune on my hoe and uh, it is a lot quicker now to actually farm this stuff. Not to mention, I can actually make my farm bigger. Because if you noticed here, I think this does mine in a much larger area. Not a bad sword, Bane of Anthropods 3. Honestly, in this pack, when we're going to be fighting a lot of spiders, probably pretty decent. And, uh, you know, just by default, that's going to be, I mean, a better sword than most. Um, I do have a better backup, though. We have an axe here, and I'm going to be smacking some sharpness on this bad boy. So the moment has come. Let's do this. I think I have everything on me that I'm going to need. Let's hope finding and getting a nice spawn location. Look at this, this is pretty nice. This is actually pretty nice. I like when I spawn somewhere concealed away from gas. Uh, question though, as soon as I open the map, are we somewhere near a fortress? And uh, well, judging by the looks of things, that's a big fat nope. So whenever I don't see an actual fortress on the map, well, I just kind of just mine in the direction that I came out of the portal. And uh, I'm gonna go 
directly in this this fashion right here i'm gonna go all the way this way and just hope that we end up seeing one and uh we're at y level 40 as well i probably should start climbing because y level 40 is right there on the lava bed and so i definitely want to move up a bit so after mining a little bit look what i see off in the distance yes this is gonna be perfect so all i have to do is get up here the bad part is is yeah i'm a little squishy to blazes and i can't make a shield because a shield well it requires some special stuff that we don't have i need to kill this thing though um thankfully i do have that fire protection at least two pieces of it and that's helping out a lot and then well i just gotta take this guy out avoiding the wolves over there avoiding the blazes and i gotta get inside this thing and kill some of those blazes i'm gonna rush it Oh, try to dodge and weave. We got two of them. Oh, yes, we got a blaze rod on that one. Thankfully, that fire protection is really coming in clutch. All right, time to loot everything here. And just like that, the perfect blaze spawner. So it may take a little bit of damage, but... Oh, that fire resist is so nice. I've got to farm this for a bit. If you're making it through the nether, it only means one thing. That's right. We can now cast off the eye and find exactly where this dragon layer is at and make our way there. But that's going to have to be another episode. And guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, of course, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. But of course, guys as uh, there's going to be several, several more episodes of this and a lot of progress to come. Uh, I hope you guys will uh, give this video a thumbs up. Took a lot of time to make this video, and uh, I have a feeling uh, these videos are going to take a little bit of time, at least till we get to the vault portion of this mod pack. So anyways, guys, I do want to give a huge shout out, though, to the sponsor of today's video. And that huge thanks, guys, is going to go to Vino. Thank you so much for your amazing support. By the way, over on the Discord, becoming a Discord Premium member. And of course, guys, if you're interested in joining the Discord community and uh, potentially becoming a member yourself, all you're going to do is go to discord.gg forward slash chosen architect, and you can join the amazing crew over there. And of course, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.